Hey guys, welcome back. This is the sixth video in this playlist related to beam forming. Initially, I started with uh, uh, the introduction and basics of beam forming. Later on, I moved to beam forming using uh, vectors. So, I had considered my mode 2 cross 2. I had a 2 transmit antenna, 2 receive antenna. X1 is transmitted along antenna 1, X2 is transmitted along antenna 2. The goal here in this MIMO is at the receiver side on antenna number 1 I should get uh, only X1 and, uh, and on antenna number 2 I should get only X2. But if you see right uh, while you are transmitting here uh, there are cross thumbs. So here at the, at the received signal Y1 E1 you will have component of X1 plus component of X2. Okay. But uh, I should uh, ensure that I, I should get back only X1. So in that case after processing what is the desired result? Desired result is that uh, let's say y1, y2. Okay, I will write it as y bar. So then I should get a diagonal matrix and then x bar, right? So basically, you will see, um, let's say uh, d1, 0, 0, d2. If it is a diagonal matrix like this, so then uh, my x1 and x2 are separated out across the antennas at the receiver, and hence uh, um, we are able to recover the signal back. This is the goal, right? So for this only, uh, uh, we were we were seeing some of the beamforming concepts um, by taking some examples. Let me quickly give an introduction of that uh, here. Um, then we will move on to the further concepts. So when I consider the MIMO channel model, y is equal to h x plus n, the columns of uh, uh, h matrix, okay, represent the, some direction in the space. That's what I was mentioning, right? So this is, uh, this is the diagram which I was mentioning, but here I had considered a uh, uh, few examples that is H. Okay, so this is let's say this is the H. Here columns are orthogonal to each other. This is a 2 cross 2 square matrix. This is one special case I had considered. Uh, in this case, uh, my signal in the space was transmitted along, uh, along these two directions as mentioned in this uh, picture. Now, now at the receiver, mm, I had to perform the receive beamforming uh, to get back my x1 and x2 right uh, so this uh, this um, w how to choose this w has been discussed in the previous videos i will not go through here but uh, here i want to mention uh, uh, the tra transmit beamforming if you are doing transmit beamforming we should be doing like w bar vector is um, is multiplied to uh, you know x bar or at the receiver side if you are doing the beamforming then it should be like uh, uh, W bar or mission Y bar or this could be you know a transmitter set this could be receiver set it could be different as well so if you are doing this operation it's a transmit beamforming at the receiver we should be performing this operation okay um, now I have taken one more one more example where H is given by this matrix here columns are not orthogonal but this matrix is invertible okay under this situation as well, uh, I was also mentioning how to choose uh, you know, the weight vectors uh, in what directions we should be seeing uh, um, the signal at the receiver in order to get back x1 and x2. Okay, this was all fine, um, but uh, but we had moved on to a generic case because this is uh, the case when uh, number of receive antenna is equal to transmit antenna and uh, and uh, there were special conditions mentioned here, right? But now. I will go to the uh, I will just go to the generic case that is what happens if uh, you know in this model okay yeah, in this model R is greater than T usually this is the case in the wireless communication right uh, in this case uh, uh, the H is not square matrix and uh, the, inver the inverse also does not exist that is when we we, we mentioned that we should go for uh, you know singular value decomposition so if we do that we get h is equal to like this and we had seen uh, the couple of uh, properties uh, with respect to this uh, u u matrix and v matrix mm, that is u emission u is equal to this and uh, you know the v emission v is equal to identity okay so now when uh, we decompose when we decompose the matrix like this then we had seen that uh, the columns of the u matrix okay and the columns of V matrix form the fundamental directions. Okay, V matrix forms the fundamental directions in the transmitter side, and uh, U matrix columns of U matrix form the fundamental direction in the receiver side. That is when you know, since we are performing uh, the beam weights by taking the columns of this V matrix, uh, V 
we were mentioning it's a transmit to beamforming and at the receiver side columns of u are used uh, as the beamforming bit so it is called as receiver beamforming this we had seen um, now based on this what what was the input or what was the clue that we got so when we consider this channel model y is equal to hx plus n and if it if it try to decompose okay let me take a different yeah so now if we try to decompose uh, y bar is equal to u sigma v hermitian then we know we know right this v hermitian v is equal to identity so it gave us the clue that we should be uh, you know uh, we should use v while transmitting so you just don't transmit x bar but you transmit v into x bar so that uh, here uh, what i was mentioning is this columns of v are used as a beamforming way to, to transmit this signal x bar right so i mentioned that this is nothing but the, the transmit beamforming okay so so since in the wireless communication we call uh, this v matrix as a precoding matrix the precoding which is performed in the transmitter uh, we I was also mentioned that this is nothing but pre-coding based to beamforming. Okay, and one more, uh, there is one more term that is since the beamforming weights are applied at this point uh, to the signal which is a baseband discrete signal. Okay, baseband discrete signal. But basically, we are applying the vectors in the digital domain, so this is also nothing but uh, digital beamforming. So at this point in time, uh, I mean at this stage, we are performing what is known as digital beamforming. Since it is done at the transmitter, we can even say transmit digital beamforming, or we can we can say precoding based beamforming. Okay. So so once we do this, uh, I was also mentioning that uh, you know we are left out with uh, this equation, and at the receiver you do the receive beamforming using this UR mission. And finally, you will left out with the sigma. As I was telling, the main goal in the in the MIMO is to get uh, finally the diagonal matrix, and, and that's what we have got here. So all are, all these are zeros. So we got the diagonal matrix. Basically, it means that we got uh, the parallel channels across antennas. So across antennas, the x1 and x2 are separated out, and we are able to recover back the signal without any uh, problem. So now. Uh, with respect to pre-coding, I want to uh, talk a little, little bit uh, uh, more. So for that, uh, let me go to the block diagram of uh, uh, the 4G or 5G uh, system. Okay. So, so here I, I have considered uh, the uplink uh, direction where the signal is transmitted from the UV to the uh, base station. And here the transmitter is the UV, right? In the UV, if you want to transmit the data, the data undergoes various signal processing blocks and right now i was mentioning that we are doing we are performing the precoding uh, um, we are performing the precoding at at some stage right we will see at what stage we are going to do the precoding so basically uh, if you see at this point okay at this point uh, we are performing uh, uh, the uh, encoding okay there are many stages which i will not go through right now but basically if you see this ninth stage okay here we are performing modulation where incoming incoming uh, input is in bits and output will be iq sample okay this iq sample will be uh, passed on to layer mapping okay let's say we had considered two layers so layer one layer two it will be divided based on certain strategy now we can say this transform between 11th stage is not there for now. Then the, the 12th stage is pre-coding. This is where we are doing the pre-coding, okay, in the signal processing block. At, the, at this stage, uh, we are applying what is called as W. This W is nothing but uh, uh, the pre-coding matrix, okay. Since the column of this uh, matrix is used as a beamforming weight to transmit the signal uh, this we can call it as uh, the pre-coding based beamforming or like by doing the pre-coding you can even say that uh, you are actually uh, forming a different kind of beams uh, in the space all right i hope you got the clarity so uh, 
I hope you got even at what stage we are doing pre-coding and uh, all these things. Now I just want to go back to uh, my PPT. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So now what I will do is. Um, So we have uh, this um, uh, layer mapping, right? Layer mapping uh, here, um, two layers. Let's say here x1, x2 is there. So now there is a pre-coding block. So here we are using this uh, w. Then I will get uh, uh, output. Okay. Since I had considered to cross two, I mean, to make to make the concepts a bit simpler, um, you know. I, I will go through the same example itself. So here I will get uh, um, after pre-coding, right? What can I say? Um, so let me call it as uh, x tilde one, x tilde two. Okay. So when there is no pre-coding stage, this W is just identity matrix. Okay, identity two cross two. In which case this will be just equal to x one. This will be just equal to x two. All right. But uh, but if you perform some kind of uh, weight, let's say weight is equal to, um, you know, one 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 minus one, then, then what what can we say? So uh, here, let's say here I will say uh, x tilde bar, right? X tilde bar. So x tilde bar, which is two cross one, will be into uh, w two cross two into uh, x bar, which is two cross one. So in this case, what will happen is uh, along one one we would be transmitting x one along one minus one direction we would be transmitting x2 this is what uh, it means right at the pre-coding stage so basically uh, along this direction or uh, one one uh, x1 is transmitted uh, in the 2d space uh, that's what it means right so so now once uh, now rather than taking w like this now what we are taking this w we are taking it as v v to cross two from from doing this SVD right and uh, sigma uh, u sigma v r mission. So after performing uh, the SVD understanding the channel from here we are picking uh, the value of w right. So over the space I mean at at the transmitter right after I mean immediately. After transmitting the signal at the transmitter, uh, we are we are forming the beam in these directions. Okay, maybe I will say uh, since W is equal to V, uh, we are forming the, the beam in the directions where the columns of V is present. Like V1 bar is the first column. Let's say V2 bar is the second column. In these directions, we form the beam. Now, at the transmitter side, we form the beam. Now we have the channel, right? channel h okay uh, um, yeah, h is equal to uh, u sigma v r vision so now here uh, we did the uh, beam forming okay in, in these two directions basically v into x bar we are transmitting once it goes through the channel so what what will what are we left out right u sigma v r vision and v into x bar anyway this is identity we are left out with the u sigma we are left out with this right now the signal okay let's say this is the receiver at the receiver uh, when the signal is reached when the signal is reached what do we see we see the effective signal like this at the transmitter we did some beamforming the channel is also performing some kind of uh, um, beamforming with, with, with various uh, channel conditions we see that finally uh, the signal which is entering into the receiver has got uh, the beams in a different directions okay has got the signal in a different directions that is along the column vectors of this matrix u so along u1 vector and u2 vector uh, we are seeing that the signal x1 and x2 is present so that's why this is what is entering into receiver Okay, at the receiver, you perform the receive beamforming using you see the uh, you you see the signal along these directions. That's uh, that's where we are doing your mission into y bar. Okay, once you do this, we your mission into y bar uh, to this signal. 
okay to this received signal your mission is multiplied then then now your mission you is identity and then and then at the receiver receiver side we are left out with sigma into x bar okay sigma is now the diagonal matrix and and our goal is achieved that the x1 and the x2 are separated out across antennas and we recovered our signal i hope you got the clarity with respect to you know uh, the precoding how the precoding uh, can be considered as a uh, you know uh, digital beamforming uh, technique and uh, and with this how we were able to recover how the uh, geometric interpretation can be made I, I hope you got all the clarity thank you very much have a great day bye bye uh, in the next video let us see uh, on a similar lines so how even the transfer precoding can also be treated as uh, uh, the digital beamforming technique Please stay tuned. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.